for many years or for some years I will do exactly that I was not in sin I was coming to church returning my tithe I was living a righteous life according to the faith but nothing happened until a time that a situation happened that made me really indignant I was indignant listen to what I'm saying I was really indignant indignant and when I became indignant because of that situation then I came to God I got the Bible and said it's written here is it true or is it a lie was it man who said that or was it you how am I going to know if this is true how can you know if what is written in the Bible is of God or not of God when you try it isn't it when that happens in your life isn't it because this idea of hearing other people saying this happened to me and that happened to me and so on and so forth it doesn't resolve it doesn't help me it does not make me an overcomer hearing somebody else's testimonies is nice but that doesn't fulfill me I want my testimony I want to speak of my own experiences because that's what my intelligence cries out for that's what my intelligence my heart is satisfied with coming to church and accepting everything the testimonies the word the prayers and so on amen and thank God the heart is very happy with that the same thing concerning religion isn't it yes or no yes or no say the truth my friends or are you afraid to embrace the truth or are you afraid to embrace that that's what you think and you're even afraid to say that no I am not afraid come on when we revolt against the situation but we are indeed indignant not only you know stepping on the floor and say oh God in Jesus name no true revolt when you are revolting in body soul and spirit then you surrender body soul and spirit if you die you die if you live you live yes or no isn't it how suicidal people do the suicidal people they come to a point when they say now I, I I have no more solution so they put a rope on their neck and they throw themselves and they die they end it all but they had courage to do that why because of their indignation but a person who commits suicide had the advantage of not having what we have what you have which is faith the power of God the promises of God the Word of God he promised and he can't lie so why doesn't it happen because the person is stagnant in that in that accommodation and they think that because they are coming to church they give their offerings they give their tithe they pray they fast they read the Bible they think that this will be enough to resolve the problem but it's not it's not enough it's not gonna change your life God said bring the tithe and offerings and try me in this if I won't open the windows of heaven try me in this what does it mean to try him what does it mean to test God what does it mean to test him that's where the secret lies you have to do something beyond what you have done so far you have to we have to because I include myself in that as well we have to do something different from what has been done so far in order for your faith
to bring the results you want. The promises are here. They were already determined. They were already sent. Why aren't they coming to my house? Why aren't they knocking at my door? Because there wasn't uh, an awakening. There wasn't indignation. An indignation of faith. The indignation of your convictions. Indignation concerning what you believe. You think with all of your assurance that is righteous for your life. That's what is lacking. If you come, I repeat, you sit on the same seat, you say the same prayer, you give the tithe, you hear the word, you like it, you enjoy it, you say amen, and again amen, and amen once again, the following week amen, and then another week amen, and the following Sunday amen, and next year amen, nothing's going to change. Your life won't change. It will change when you change it here. Your mind, your life changes when your mind changes. As long as you think the same, nothing will happen. Because when I was observing people arriving to the church, some walking, some others by bus in the rain, the cold, some with a nice car, others with an old car, I was like, my God, this is not possible. I feel, I, I don't accept this. It hurts me. What's lacking there, my God? What is missing? You have to change the way that you are. You have to change your prayers. You have to change. Something has to happen. Something has to be done by you. I don't know what you are going to do, but that you have to change, you, you do have to. And that's what you have to do, my friend. See what you need to do. Because it's pointless for you to read the Bible, think it's nice and it's strong and this is good. No. My life has to change. God did not come into this world to bring a philosophy, to bring an idea. He came to bring life. Life. And I want you to have this life. You have to have this life. You have to have this life. And whatever is needed for you to have this life, we are going to say, we are going to teach, we are going to insist, we are going to make campaigns, we are going to, to go from every side. Either you are with us and you conquer, or you are going to leave, because you are going to be in, in a way or, or another. Either you embrace our faith, or you are going to be scared and, and leave. But one thing we are going to show you, we have to show you that our God exists that he is not made of stone, clay, and metal. This is my faith. This is my faith. Something has to be done. You have to do something. Listen to what I'm saying. By the Spirit of God himself, if you don't do anything for yourself, if you do not act, if you don't take actions, if you are not courageous to act out what is inside of you, if you are not courageous, if you are not, let's say, how can I say, you have to be, oh my God, what is, what is the word? You have to be violent. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is taken by force. And the violent take it by force, only the violent, which means you have to go against your will, you have to go against your heart, you have to go against your lust, your feelings, you have to surrender body, soul and spirit. Either it is or it isn't, but if it is, then something has to happen, it's all or nothing. Something has to happen. You have to be violent. 
God did not give us faith for us to place our hands like this and like this and then bow our head. Oh Lord, no. God did not give us faith for this.